Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Crab One, and today I want to go over some more Atlas patch notes. Now, before we talk about that, there will be a developer live stream, as you can see here, at 2 p.m. Pacific time, February 28th. Now, they're going to be talking about a ton of stuff. They've already had one of these before, um, and I completely forgot to make videos about all the stuff they talked about, but they had one of these before where they talked about a ton of upcoming stuff, a ton of like possibilities and just ideas that they don't have fleshed out so they're going to be talking about a ton of new stuff we got a ton of information from the first one but it was kind of super, so far away a lot of it really wasn't really set in stone this one most likely will be much more because they're talking heavily about the stuff that's coming in march and basically the massive like rework of the game and new stuff that's coming in march and then stuff after that and then the captain's log will come out right after that stream. So I'll, I'll be making videos about all the stuff in that stream and the captain's log right after that. Because we also have all of the exact patch notes or what what of the patch notes that they have to show us for now um, coming in March. So we have that to go over as well. Um, but this is just going to be an update on all the patch notes up from... Um, 18.87 all the way up to what's right now which is 19.3 um so first optimization performance for various server subsystems fix an issue with the unstasis slash server distance on ships i don't actually know what they're considering unstasis because they talk about that multiple times in this um i would assume that's like when you actually fully load something in um and most likely, like, right when you load in a ship or something, the stuff on deck most likely is kind of, like, um, kind of static until you get close enough to need to see, like, animations or movement or stuff like that. That's my assumption because it is kind of weird. Unstasis. I've never really heard that in another game before. Optimized performance of various server subsystems again. Um, 18.9. Fix an issue with babies not eating from inventory slash troughs when in stasis and i don't know what this is talking about their stasis either because they're not frozen or anything so i really don't know what they're talking about with this fix a bug with alpha creatures um canvases are now free paintable so canvases are specifically just canvases i'm assuming because there is um canvases you can put on walls i don't think this is like signs and stuff so canvases are what look like paintings so now you're able to free paint and just draw whatever you want on them with being able to pretty sure you can still upload pictures on the canvases and it works on like animals improve the appearance of storm clones vfx very much needed um hopefully they keep doing this and improving the performance because the tornadoes before um, or storm cyclones did not look very good at all fix an issue with npcs not interacting when stationed optimize server spatial octree which should result in better server performance and reduce stalls so just more server performance stuff um they've been doing a lot of server performance stuff i don't play on officials anymore so you guys have to tell me how good it's feeling now because even when i was playing even though they had made like like massive percentage increases since the game came out since, since i last played there was still if servers started getting packing in people the servers would still start to get massive ping increases and even with no people on the server you would still get i still wasn't getting anywhere like i still was never getting below like 70 or 80 ping even with like nobody in a grid fix melee damage application to army of the damned um I assume this means like hitting army then with melee um, actually works correctly. It seems like it's trying to say fix NPC, NPC crew disappearing for a fraction of a second when mounting on cannons. So I'm wondering if this is also a fix because sometimes this would happen and you notice this where you put them on a cannon. They disappear for a second then appear on it. But also this could cause NPCs randomly to disappear and then reappear on the cannon even if they're still on it for like a second or half a second. It was quite weird because it would randomly happen to some NPCs, like, and only that NPC every once in a while. So it was kind of weird. Prevented climbing the Kraken barrier wall. Um, improved Cyclone's movement to allow it to clamor over rocks better. Um, I thought they break rocks. I would assume they should probably just make it break rocks instead of walk over rocks. 
maximum ship level in is now 52. So if I'm not mistaken, before maximum ship level is 41. Now I heard from other people that you can get it above 41, but I never figured out how to do that. Um, but that is actually a pretty big increase or buff to ships because getting your ship to level 41, if you know what you're doing, was not hard at all. Basically what you would do is you would just put back cannons on the ship, make sure you had NPCs on the sails, have three speed sails. Um, you don't even need three speed sails, actually. Make sure you don't have an incredible amount of weight so you can actually outrun them. And then you would just aggro them and keep going straight while slowing down to keep them in range. Um, and with heavy cannons in the back, you could actually shoot them without them being able to hit you. So you could almost always destroy ships of the damned without taking damage, which you could level up super easily. And it didn't matter which ship of the damned because the red or the green all the way up to the highest red aren't really faster or anything so you could still kill them without taking damage and level up super easy that way so having a bunch more levels to be able to put in your ship increases basically everything because usually people would either put in weight or crew crew makes it so you can man more cannons have more cannons on your ship um and then weight makes it so you can carry more stuff have more cannons have more cannonballs um while being faster because weight Putting weight in your ship also reduces the speed reduction that weight has on your ship. So this is a pretty big buff for ships overall. Significant server optimizations. Company network data is now replicated more efficiently to clients. So just more server optimization. Company UI now displays last online time for members. Um, that's a pretty good feature to have. Um, this is actually a lot bigger of a feature than a lot of people realize, especially for bigger companies, because there's a ton of companies out there that had 100 people that would only have like 30 or 40 active members and you couldn't see who was actually active. So that's actually really nice to be able to see, oh, if this person's been off for a month and the game's been out for only a couple months, you should probably kick them because they're probably not going to be coming back anytime soon. Note, added to the game, added to the game to leave each other messages. You can learn it from the secrets of building skill. Oh, note added to the game. Okay, this makes a little bit more sense. So they added a note. They, they had the same thing in Arc where you could just make a note for like one five or something and type whatever you wanted on it. They kind of worded it weirdly. Sign slash canvases can now be placed on storage boxes and bookshelves to help indicate what they're used for. This is a really nice increase. Um, if you're kind of OCD about um, keeping stuff organized... Um, people seem to not read the names of chests very much. So basically what I was doing is I was putting signs on the floor in front of chests. So hopefully people would see them, but now you can put them just on the storage chest, which is a really good addition because people are definitely going to have to read this sign. That's probably still going to be in their face when they're in the inventory of the chest. So it's going to be much easier to keep stuff organized. Um, bookshelves added to organize your map, blueprints, notes, and songs. You can learn it from the esoteric of building skill. So this is pretty big. That was supposed to be added in the February patch. That's now March. Um, didn't they still have it in? Okay, no, they did take it out. Before they switch it to March, it was actually still there even though it was added. So basically, it's the same thing as a bookshelf from ARC. Um, you can put maps, blueprints in it. That's like the main things. You could put notes, which they just added. And you could put songs, which is also nice. You could put all those in there. I'm wondering if you're able to put skulls in there. Just like you were able to put the um, survivor tags from Ark in there. That's a massive um, change or addition to the game. Because in big bases or even like whatever base you had, you'd have tons of chests of just like songs and blueprints and maps just littered throughout the base to store all this stuff. Um, I haven't checked the booksh bookshelf yet. I'm assuming it has a lot of spaces to put all this stuff in. Because blueprints in this game are much um, are much more used and much more kept, I guess. Um, you keep a lot more of these because getting like really good common blueprints is actually really good. Because if you can get one that's like 110% or something, or even higher than that, it's really good because it doesn't require multiple of the same resource. So it's basically just a slight resource increase, but with a pretty big like damage or 
durability increase or whatever. So keeping a bunch of different blueprints is actually super useful and done a lot more in this game than an arc. Two times harvesting XP taming and gold enabled on official network until Monday the 25th, which is already passed. So scratch that out. That's not currently in the game. Um, doubled maximum server physics substeps to maintain core consistent ship movement at low server frame rates. So this is basically to help with ships feeling super like laggy and feel like they're constantly like jolting um really like laggy through the servers it made it really hard to ship battle and really hard to you know actually move the ship or anything like that or um kind of slow down or speed up when you needed to so that's much better than even a lower lower frame rates um or lower server frame rates um so i guess that's not user side that would be server side to make the ship feel smoother giraffe harvesting now yields six times thatch that's a massive increase a hundred percent making giraffes thatch harvesting much better than humans with pickaxes um so now giraffes definitely have a major use no one was even taming them before because they didn't have like thatch uses they did recently buff that but they buffed it again here by six times so clearly it wasn't enough and now that's definitely going to be a lot. So now you can farm pretty much all the base resources with an animal and get a lot more. I think besides metal, because I don't think rhinos get more metal than humans still. Um, will corpses now last 30 minutes? Um, I don't know if this is actually a nerf or a buff or what the point of this really is. I would assume harvesting them, they still go away. Fix a case where server side spoiling times were incorrect on preserving bins. Um, fix a bug with where picking up static structures will limit quantity of existing structures in your inventory. So someone did comment this on a video when I talked about, um, there was a bug before that if you put down a upgraded structure, so basically if you had a stone, um, floor that you, uh, that you built from a blueprint that was upgraded, if you put it down and picked it back up in the 30 second timer, it would put, be put back in your inventory as a base version of it. So they fixed that. But then what that caused, I'm pretty sure was this. I don't know if this was caused from this bug or if this happened before too. I think it was caused from this bug where if you put down a static structure, so one from a blueprint and picked it back up, it would eliminate um, quantity of physics instructions in your inventory. So if you had like a stacks of structures, I'm pretty sure it would just destroy that from your inventory. So just destroy a bunch of structures if you picked it up. That's a pretty big um, bug that... Is, I'm glad it's fixed. Significantly improved server performance when unstasising structures 50% plus. So that's again unstasising structures. Um, I'm assuming this is also see this is server performance. So I don't think it's the load in of server of structures loading in. I guess um, what I'm thinking this might be is that there's no one in a certain area of something. Like no people that it stays that it puts like the structures in some stasis where it kind of isn't loaded fully into the server to reduce server performance. That's come my complete guess. I've never heard about I've never heard this language from any other games before. Maybe it's because they kind of do use more like developer language in their patch notes and stuff. Um, probably because their games are one of the biggest mod games, so much more people are kind of used to that developer coding kind of language but i still have no idea what that's actually supposed to mean so that's pretty much all for the patch notes right now make sure if you want to check it out tune into the developer live stream at 2 p.m pacific time february the 28th which is thursday um and the captain's log will go up right after that um as told by jack so we don't know if it'll exactly go up then. Um, and I will be doing videos on all that stuff. So subscribe. Stay tuned in for that. But subscribe if you want to see more Atlas content. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you think about Atlas in its current state. What do you think about all these patch notes? What do you think about then pretty much completely rebalancing the game in March? And thanks for watching.